Hey guys, in this lesson, I show you how to save, reuse, and organize your files using the library. The library is useful because it allows us to organize our assets, along with being able to save and reuse objects that we create in Anime Studio later on in our existing project or future projects. So to get started, please open up a pre-existing document that you may have on your computer. If you don't have a document, then just go ahead and draw out some shapes on your stage really quick so that you can use those objects to follow along with the tutorial. Once you've done that, go to Window, Library. A small window will pop up with a variety of text, tabs, and icons for you to look at. So we'll quickly dissect what you're looking at here. First is the Library tab, and that allows you to see the entire library as it is right now. Next is a search function, which allows us to search for different assets in our library. Or you can even search on Content Paradise, which is Anime Studio's online store where you can go and buy assets from other users that they've created. And the favorites bar allows you to place assets in here so that you can easily access them. It's kind of a way to filter things out. Now on the library you have eight different icons. You have the character icon, props, images, audio, video, particle effects, scenes, and 3D. Now these don't really mean much beyond how you use them. For instance, you could put props in the character category if you really wanted to, but they're there to help you organize. So if you ever save a character, I recommend you put them in the character category, props into the props category, and so on. So as you can see within each category, we have folders, and these folders currently contain pre-existing items that were built into Anime Studio. So if you went here to the Partners folder under your characters, you could find some more folders and you could find characters there and you could easily import them into your movie if you so choose to. But we're going to focus mainly on bringing in your own assets and reusing them. So first, let's create a new folder for our assets. To do this, you can find the folder icon right on the bottom here of your window and so we can just click that and a new dialog screen will come up and we can type in my characters and just hit OK. Now I had the partners folder highlighted so it went into there but we can easily move that and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. So here we are with the my characters folder so we can click on that and we can see right now that it's empty. Well, we can change that very easily. If I come over here to my layers box for my project and I select the Benick side layer, which is my character on the screen right now, and come down here and click save character, you'll see now that my folder has a one by it. And if I hit the arrow, you can see that Benick side is now in there. If I click on that, I have a variety of options. I can add them to the scene. I can create a new folder, I can save the character, I can delete him from the library, or I can favorite him. Well, if I click Add Character, you'll see now that I have two Benix sides on my Layers box. And if I take my Translate Layer tool and just nudge him over, you'll see now that we have a second Benix ready to go. So that is the simple way of saving a character into your library. Now. If you wanted to, you could delete him by hitting this key. Just keep in mind, if you delete him, you won't be able to get him back from the library. Because just as an example, if you hover your mouse over this folder, you'll see that it shows a path. And it shows you where a folder is located on your computer. Within that folder are actually going to be individual files for each asset that you save to your library. So that means that if you delete this, you'll be deleting it for any project that you may be using the library for. And finally, if you wanted to, you could favorite the character by highlighting the character itself and then coming here to the star icon and clicking that. 
and then you have this menu that says add to favorites and you will make a new folder for your favorites. In this case, I'll just name it favorite characters. Click OK. And now if you come over here to your favorites tab, you have your favorites and you have your character right there. So it's really easy to save and reuse objects in Anime Studio. And as I said, you can do this for a variety of a number of different objects. It just doesn't have to be characters. Like you go to your props, you can make a new folder for your props. And just as an example, maybe I'll just put it in scenery. Maybe I won't make a new folder. Click scenery. I can click on my desk layer and just simply click the save prop button. And as we can see, it is right there. So that's a little demonstration on how to save and reuse items in your library. But now let's take this a step further. Let's go and make a new document. Go to File, New, and I'll just say No to save the changes. And here's our new document. But as you can see, we still have all of these uh, objects that we saved in our library. So we could just click on the desk and click Add Prop. And the prop would now be in this uh, project file. And we can go back here to our character as well. My character is still saved. Just add the character. And you can just rebuild scenes or you can make new scenes very easily by just saving characters to the library and importing them back into your new project files. And this is very useful, as I said, if you have a really big project that's split into multiple project files or let's say you're making a cartoon series that has multiple episodes and you want to reuse assets. This is great for that. Finally, let's take a look at where everything is going here. I kind of demonstrated before that there is a path for this folder. Well, if I open up my Windows Explorer, and if you're on a Mac, this will be the same thing. If you go to your Finder, you'll see that the path for this, at least for when I installed it, is computer, local disk, users, public, public documents, Smith Micro, and then in there, I have an Anime Studio Pro folder, and I have the two versions on my computer. I can just double click on eight, go to the library, and here you have all the categories that you had before on your actual window. So if I go into characters and go into partners, and my characters is in that, and I can just double click, and you can see that the file is right there. And you can do the same with the prop, that I saved and so on. And this also allows you to reorganize. As I said before, my characters folder went into the partners folder and I don't want that. So I could very easily now just with Windows Explorer take this and cut it and paste it into the characters folder or, you know, drag it into the characters folder and so that it disappears then from the partners folder. Just make sure that you close out of Anime Studio when you do this so that you don't have any conflicts with the library. And then you can just, as I said, cut this out, go to the characters and paste it in. And now when you boot up Anime Studio again, when you go to your content library, you'll see now that your My Characters um, folder is in the characters category as opposed to being in another folder. Anyway, to wrap this up, that is a simple overview of the library. I think it's very useful, especially if you're trying to organize, if you're building a bigger project, or if you plan to create a series of projects. I hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll see you next time.